Hi everyone. Welcome to 30 Inks 30 Days, September, day 24. Um, it's my lunch time. It means it's time for another video. So first up, we're going to look at yesterday's ink. My pen is uh, downstairs and I don't feel like going to get it. Um, we had California Raisin. Here is the dried splat. Here is the um, chromatography. I really enjoy this ink. <laughs> but let's move on. Let's move on. Don't forget this, Maria. Today we're going to be looking at boom, 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 Van Diemen's Royal Starfish. Um, and I'm going to put this in my Laban rainbow skeleton this pen was the pen that I was like well this is the last pen I'm gonna buy but it turned out it was the first pen I was buying before I went on a spree yeah, that'll happen uh, I do love it I just this nib is too fine there's this part of me that feels like, can't I just like sand it down until it gets fatter? No, Maria, you can't. Maybe I should replace the nib. It's not like... Oh, I think I tried to pull it out and it wouldn't come out. Oh, well. Um... Mm -hmm. Well, that that worked really well. Filled that pin up good. There's no ink in it. There's still no ink in it. I hate everything right now. got some ink in it that time and I got a little bit on my fingers look how far into the okay shh, shh move on Maria move on got some ink for splat cool um why did I get royal starfish I'm trying to remember if I got it as a sample or if I just bought the bottle I got it because I thought I would like it, obviously, but like, I think I just bought the bottle. I have a hard time buying samples because it feels like such a poor economic choice, right? Like, if you think of the cost of a sample as a portion of the cost of the bottle of ink, you've wasted the money On the sample unless like your end is to have the sample like if you never if you're buying a sample is like maybe I'll like this ink and then maybe I'll buy a bottle that's when I'm like oh I don't know about that versus oh I just don't want to buy a bottle of orange but I'd like a sample of it for a thing I'm doing or something. look I've kind of thought a lot about this it ends up with me buying ink by the bottle so I picked this pen for this ink because it does a fine line and this is a bold ink so I thought well a finer line it's, much, it's probably a medium but like what if it's a fine I tried to find that info somewhere and didn't have a lot of wait I actually just remembered where the box is should we look I'm gonna pause and look I looked it's not written on the box these things happen in the meantime there's our chromatography we'll let it sit for a moment more
Okay, that was a moment. Taking it out. <laughs> Hang it to dry. Okay, ink. And demons. Underwater series. Royal Starfish. Pen. Flip on. Rainbow skeleton. I'm calling it a medium. Even though, didn't I like, oh, it's fine. Just kidding, it says fine. That would explain why I'm like, this pen sucks. It's fine. <laughs> I think I need to eat. <laughs> I think I'm hungry and it's making me... I should have tried to make this look like a starfish, I guess. Maybe this does look like a starfish. Maybe it's just, wow, this purple is like, holy cow. I don't know if you can see that. I'm afraid of it. Be violent, violent. Oh, I love that. <gasps> yes, yes, I love it, I love it. Look at that, it's explosive. This is like the best splat. I feel like, you know what? I feel like Manda is with me for this. It's a purple. It's a purple and my splat turned out well. It's like a sign. Okay, did I write a page in here already? I feel like I might have. Maybe not. Let's look again. Wow, really? I see. Ugh, I don't like that I'm having to write the header in a fine pen. Every time I see Dusk or Dawn, I think of Dream On by Ayers. <laughs> the, the newer recording that they did in the 90s when I thought it was a new song. <laughs> Kids. Um, I'm just writing it. No special writing. Just writing. I hope you all have that song in your head now. The thing about this is like it has some give. It's not flex, but it's got some bounce to it. So I don't want to necessarily replace it. I think it's because it's held so far back. Like so much of the nib comes out that there's more room for it to play. Um
There. I wrote about Patrick. You know, Spongebob. So, bring the splat back into view. <laughs> um, thank you for hanging out with me today for this 30 inks 30 day. What's funny is this is a rainbow pen, but this shade of purple, I don't know that it's in here. Eh, it's close enough. Close enough. Um, okay, that's how that's staying. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out, everyone. I will see you again tomorrow with another 30 30 days video. Bye!